Hello, today we are going to fix the seat on your scooter. And in this video I will show you how. Well, hello and welcome. This is the seat of the scooter. After a few miles, <laughs> actually maybe after 100 miles, that's what is going to happen to your seat of your scooter, okay? It's going to start to get, you know, more slippery, more thinner, you start to crack and uh, you're going to get a nice crack right here in the center. And see, your seat of the scooter is very similar to the grip of your scooter, okay? The grips of the throttle, that's the connection that you have with, with your body to the scooter, okay? To handle the street, to handle the scooter, to have a good connection with the scooter. So, this one is a big problem in many, many scooters, okay? This part right here will break after 200 miles, okay? So, the thing that you can do to fix it is like you can bring it to a place and redound the old piece, uh, put some nice leather maybe, and that will be great, maybe, I think 80 bucks, $100 maybe, they're gonna do a great job for $100, okay? So you're gonna have a nice seat, maybe you can have some great leather, you know? Now, the second solution you can use, uh, you can place on these cracks right here, because unfortunately you cannot sew this part right here from side to side and squeeze a little bit, because this fabric, this kind of like fake leather that is on top of your seat, uh, is no good. So even if you take a, a thread in the line and you try to sew it side to side and put some stitches, it's not going to work. So the best way is just to grab some large tape, uh, Right, this one is a flex tape right here, okay? Flex tape is a large one, this one is super large. You can also use Gorilla tape and put a large Gorilla tape or maybe you can put some black duct tape right here. So you can, you can, you know, fix this part right here. Now, right after that, you're not going to leave just a duct tape on it. You're going to have a nice cover that I will show you in just a second. Now, right here, what you're gonna do the flex tape has a little part right here and has a clear part on one side and has a dark side, on, you know, like the black side on the other one. Now, this is a very high quality tape and this one is a little more sticky than the other ones. So that's what you really want. So you're gonna put this part right here on the center to see if it's going to hold a little bit. Cause after a while, this cracks they're gonna get bigger and bigger. So you need to, you know, try to fix as much as you can this part right here. Now you can cut this part right here. But don't worry, because you, you're not going to see this part later. You know, this kind of tape, you're not going to see it later after you fix the seat. Okay. See, make sure it looks pretty good. If you like, you can put like two or three parts of this one. You can put another way right here, another side on the other side, okay? It just all how much your scooter is broken, how much many cracks on this kind of fabric you have, and how much you want to make sure this thing is not going to break more on your, you know, seat. So you have to be careful. Now, right after you've done that, I suggest you to remove the seat. Because right here, I have a nice cover, okay? This one is like a mesh cover. This is the best thing ever, because I've been using this one for like five years or more. This one, you just pull it on, okay? But there is a way to put it on that is a little better than the other one, okay? Now this one, you can buy it online for about $10, okay? And you can get a good product, you know? I hope you can read it. That's it, that's the company and this one is the product. I will put the link of this product right underneath my video so you can try this product. You can buy this one, it's about $10. And this one, the size is XXL, okay? I always make sure I have a larger size of this one to, to put in the scooter. Now, make sure you measure your scooter because if you have a smaller scooter than 150cc, you're not going to need a really large cover but this one is a fantastic cover one reason is because it's no slipper okay so doesn't you don't slip away when you push your brake when you pull the brake your backside is not going to slip away from the gravity this way you're not going to knock your knees 
on the glove box over here because that's usually what happened with the scooter this part right here they become so shiny and so slippery then when you pull your brakes your knees goes like bang right here and that is not really a lot of fun okay so this one will save you a lot of problem another great thing about this product that when it's raining the water will stay on the seat but not on the cover so you will not get your back part wet okay so this one is really important okay you will not get your you know back part wet and that's really a plus for me you know so many times I'm being in the scooter when it was raining and the only thing was dry was my back part <laughs> and that was so funny you know so this one I really love it I will show you how to put it on the best thing is to remove the seat and I will show you how to place this one on to remove the seat you just open the seat right here and on the bottom right here you have a 10 millimeter bolt in this way right here so just remove this bolt right here with the socket this is the bolt that you have on the front part of your seat okay now place the bolt in a location where you're not going to forget where this bolt is because there is special size of these GY6 bolts uh, there are many times you cannot find them okay right after you move that one you have a little bar right here like a pin to remove it you can remove it just bit by hand okay this one is the pin you just remove it this way out and you're going to remove the seat at this point this point your seat is free very easy thing to do okay now right after you move the seat you can close it okay you see how this seat is look that's what happened to the seat now this scooter is 14,000 miles and this scooter took a lot of beating I can say and uh, the scooter the seat really look a uh, little rough but I will show you later how this seat is going to look okay right after you remove the seat from your scooter place it on a nice table right here so you, you can work with it right here you have the cover for your seat pay attention when you cut the cover with the scissors to make sure you don't cut the seat cover okay now right after you come out of this bag you can open this cover right here that's the cover that you have when you open the cover it kind of looks like a little funny you know you're not really sure where this cover is going to go but I kind of open up this cover a little bit and just to have an idea okay now right after you open everything right here there is a pointy part right here and there is a larger part in the back kind of tell it, stretch a little bit and see how it looks okay now just stretch it and you see that you're going to have a pointy part on the front and a larger part on the back so the pointy part is going to go up here on the front and the larger pack right here the larger part is going to be on the back that's it now this cover comes also with the little straps right here that are made of velcro that you can attach to the other side but the problem is when you close your scooter this one will give you a problem because it will give you a little resistance on closing the scooter but what you can do now just stretch them out for now and then later you're just gonna cut them off I'm gonna show you why and when okay so for now you need to find the right position for this seat cover right here you're going to stretch this cover and kind of like adjust it the way you need it okay now that's how your seat is going to look like later but you know this is not the final pro the product yet so now this time what you really need you need a, a stapler you know this one a good stapler I'm gonna put the link underneath this video just to see if you need to buy a stapler with the staples you know you need to have some kind of like staple that really 
kind of long, at least 10 millimeter long, you know, right here, staples, they're 10 millimeter long. You don't want very short staples, because if not, they're not going to hold on to your cover. So, what you're just gonna do, because you're gonna stretch it the way you want it, okay? The way you're going to need this cover to be, and then you're going to start to put the staples, and later, you can cut this velcro because you're not going to need this velcro anymore so it's going to be something else for this velcro okay so make sure that the cover looks the way you want it stretch it how much as you can but not too much because no, if not this kind of product is going to be raised too much and it's gonna maybe break later because you you're going to use a little force later with your air side okay so at this point just use a stapler so you can staple this cover to your seat now try to force a little bit that gun right here staple gun a little bit in a way that this staples is going to go inside the plastic if they don't go inside the plastic later they're gonna become loose now don't worry if this velcro is not really straight right here if it's on the side doesn't matter the only thing you really have to care if the seat looks good on the top okay because this line of velcro you're going to cut them off okay so make sure that you press down on the stepper gun so you can push the staples inside of the plastic because these staples they have to go inside the plastic okay don't be cheap on the staples they're not too expensive put how many staples right here how much how much as you can you know if you like to put the under staples here I don't care has to stay on your seat Okay, this cover. So if it doesn't stay the cover on the seat, you're going to have a problem. It's going to be dangerous for you. So put 1,000 staples. Now little by little, every inch, place one staple. That has to go inside the plastic of the seat. Now you have to make sure that your seat looks good in the front and in the back. It doesn't have to bother too much the front or the back to the connection right here and to the connection in the back of the seat. Now, uh, when you are done to put a lot of staples over here, you can cut this velcro, but do not cut it yet. Now this seat is really good. Good quality and really lasts a long time. I'm really impressed about the product. At the first view of this one, when I received this kind of cover, I kind of was kind of worried about it. But when I start to use this seat, I was really impressed. And uh, really, I will buy it anytime. And I think it costs around $10. I will place a link underneath the video so you can see where you can buy it. And that's how it's around $10 and it will last you a really long time. You know, they should, they could and would charge you a lot more if they can and for the product, because the quality is there. I'm really, I'm really impressed so but anyway this job will take you about maybe 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes and right after you're done you're going to have a really great looking seat you know so if you have an electrical staple gun it's going to be a lot better and a lot faster for you plus you can use a better quality um, gun staples you know so a longer staple but you have to make sure you don't go to the other side if you go to the other side it's going to be a problem because 
you're going to hurt yourself when you sit on your scooter so but anyway this one is an okay staple gun and those are the right here those are the staple I'm using and they're okay but if I could get it slightly longer I will get a slightly longer staple you know it's a lot better just but it's okay no complaints at the moment you know? now at this time I would love to cut this part right here because this part right here at the moment is bothering me a little bit so just cut this part right here or if you like you can put it back inside but I don't like it back inside too much now right here you have to make sure that it looks good also sometimes you're going to open your seat and there is some people and you want to make sure that you did a good job because if you don't do a good job later it might not look so good now right this part right here that I remove the velcro you and you're able to place a little more of the staples Be very generous with the staples, okay? Now make sure you don't put anything over here because this is the part that's going to close down and it's going to close on your bucket of your scooter. So if you put something here, you're not going to be able to close your scooter. Now at this point, I can remove this part right here that I will build the front Velcro that I don't like and I don't want it. Yeah. This is one of the little modifications that you can do it to your scooter and you can do it right away as soon as you buy your scooter. It's a lot better because this one, with this cover, you're not going to slip on the seat. And a slip on the seat is a really dangerous thing because uh, you might get in an accident. You might lose the control of your scooter because really the control of your scooter is your hand and is your body and your feet that is on your scooter that's how you have the connection with your scooter and if the connection with your scooter is not good you're not going to handle your scooter the right way okay let's see we're almost done eh? so every inch plays to staple and when you place the staple try to push the back of the staple gun to push that staple better inside okay so it will go inside a lot better and it will hold to the cover a lot better and you want to do a good job because it's always better to do a good job right away and the first time then do the job again later okay you don't want to do a job twice. Now this seat is from a 150cc GY6 scooter. Okay? But before you order your seat, make sure you get the measure of your seat so you can see how long is your seat and uh, what you really need to get so but don't worry if you if your seat cover is too long don't worry you can always double back here or double up front or double on the side so you can roll the side over here and you're going to place a larger you know seat cover on your scooter that has a smaller seat but you know always better to take the measurement and then buy a product and don't worry if that product is not gonna fit fit on your scooter you can always put it in the bag and send it back and get another size, okay? So there is nothing to stress about it, okay? Right here. Now, if you remember one of my videos, I always have a black bag right here. I always keep it just in case of rain. I can use this bag. Even if I have a waterproof pants and waterproof jacket, that I always keep it with me. But this one is just as an emergency if I don't have the other product the other jacket or the other pants they're waterproof I can use this one this one is a garbage bag 
and you can use it as a waterproof when it really rains uh, you know you can use this one to cover yourself because unfortunately here down here in Florida it rains very hard and you never know where, it come, where it's coming from so sometimes you really you're really surprised where the rain is coming from so right here It looks pretty good. So more or less every inch of this cover plays a staple, okay? Now if you see that some place it didn't go inside too much or doesn't look too good, you know, just place another staple or just bang on the top with a small hammer or with the, with the staple gun. So you make sure that this part right here goes inside, okay? So put something firm underneath, like a piece of wood, and you can bang right here on the staples, okay? You really can, you know, push the staple more, staple more inside. It's really important. Okay, right after, make sure if you like a lot, you have a little time, clean the back, clean down here, clean all over before you put it back so you don't have to clean it on your scooter. At this time, you have the finished product. How about that? Look at this one looks a lot better unfortunately yes we still have to a cut right here but at this point you really don't see it much okay so we discover now this one at the first time that you're gonna sit on it's gonna feel like a little weird you know a little strange but then you're gonna start to like especially when it rains because the water is going to go underneath and you're gonna be sitting on top and the water water is not going to you know get your backside wet so and plus uh, when it's really hot and your scooter is really hot and your seat is really hot you don't feel it because this one doesn't make you feel when the scooter seat is really hot in the summer this is a perfect thing to use in the summer or in the winter okay okay right here we have the final product this is the seat cover They look like new. It's fantastic. Let me tell you, for ten dollar, you cannot have a better seat cover. Okay. Now, right after you place your seat cover right here, you're able to put this one back right here, where you're going to have the little right here. The little this one is like a pin that goes inside, and you have a ten millimeter socket that you're going to need to put this one back. Now make sure you really pay attention where is this little pin is going to go because uh, the plastic of the connection right here is not too good, it's not a great quality so you know it might break so you have to be careful. So make sure when you put this one in you look on the other side, okay? All right here you're going to have a, a 10 millimeter, there is a little bolt right here for 10 millimeter Make sure that the bolt goes straight, so you don't want to unthread. You don't want to unthread the bolt. And make sure you tie it, okay? If you wish, you can place some thread lock right here on this bolt to make sure it's not going to go nowhere, okay? Now, you see, right here on the inside you have all the staples. It looks pretty good. Place as many staples as you can. So this cover is not going to move and it's not going to be a problem for you when you're going to put, pull the brakes because this small cover is going to stay there, okay? Now you don't need to use any glue, nothing. Staples and that's it. Okay, we just finished to install a new seat cover on your scooter. Feel free to subscribe to my channel anytime. If you have any question, please ask to me. And uh, thank you very much for watching my video.